the one vitamin that reverses nerve damage. And the reason I want to talk about this one vitamin is because it's the most common deficiency behind most nerve problems. Let's start with viruses. And I'm talking about two viruses that have the potential to go into the nerves on the face and create conditions like Bell's palsy. They can hide in this little nerve bundle called the ganglia. It's like a mini brain within the nerves that have this bundle of nerve cells. What's unique about it is the viruses go into those areas, those little bundles, to evade the immune system and kind of fly underneath the radar. Then what the viruses do is they can turn off something called autophagy. Autophagy is a condition where you're recycling damaged proteins, but you're also recycling pathogens, bacteria, yeast, fungus, molds, and viruses. And because they're in this nerve bundle, they can hide with our immune system and they just kind of go to sleep. And our immune system doesn't know that they're there because they're not really doing anything, but just waiting for your stress to go up. Because when you have stress, you have cortisol. Cortisol is an immune suppressant. One of the most severe stresses that someone can go through is an emotional stress. And this is why a lot of these dormant viruses come out of remission after a stress event. Loss of a loved one is a huge one, loss of money. And I've seen this a lot of times in practice um, with someone with a herpes virus or even shingles. I'll ask them what happened just before this. And sure enough, it was a stress event. And they can come out and create other problems too, like fibromyalgia, also problems on your face as well. There's one thing unique about those viruses. They need the amino acid called arginine to exist. And it just so happens that arginine competes with another amino acid called lysine. If you have enough lysine, you can block arginine and stop the reproduction of this virus. You have to take a lot of lysine to kind of compete and block arginine. You want to take 1,000 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams every single day for a period of time to put that virus back in remission, as well as do whatever you can do to reduce stress. Let's take another nerve problem, sciatica. That usually comes from a disc issue. A lot of people with disc problems are deficient in copper. If you have sciatica, you may want to try either taking a supplement with copper or just putting copper cream topically around that area in your back where it originates to reduce the discomfort. Next condition is carpal tunnel syndrome. That's in your wrist. This is usually a B6 deficiency. The primary nerve that supports myelin is B12, and that would be another type of nerve problem because if you're deficient in B12, you can get like electric shock-like sensations in your nervous system. Very, very painful or even numbness. And that's because B12 is involved with the myelin sheath around the nerve. That's the outer covering that protects the nerve, that insulates the nerve, that allows the signals to transmit. Then we get to MS. Okay, this is an autoimmune disease. This can definitely affect your nerves, your brain. Vitamin D3 is essential in reducing inflammation within the nerve cells and also your brain cells. You need to take large amounts of vitamin D3, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 I use of vitamin D3 to put that condition into remission. There's a lot of research on this using something called the Coimbra protocol, which I will put a link down below for more information about that. Now let's get into the most common nerve problem that exists. And that is something relating to either prediabetes or diabetes. A lot of people with diabetes end up with nerve problems in their feet. They get numbness in the toes first, and then it kind of starts traveling in the foot the bottom of the foot becomes painful. The sugar in the blood is creating such a demand for this one vitamin, and that vitamin is called vitamin B1, thiamine. I would take it in the form of benfotamine because that tends to penetrate the myelin and get right into the nerve and very quickly reverse nerve damage that's caused from the high sugar. The more carbohydrates or sugar someone consumes, the greater the need for B1. If you're a pre-diabetic or you're diabetic, you have a lot of sugar going through the bloodstream. That means you're going to need even more B1 to compensate. But of course, if you just come off the sugar, that might be a better solution. But benfotamine, this is a fat-soluble version of B1, is the best antidote for peripheral neuropathy because B1 is necessary for the metabolism of carbohydrates. And just as a very important side note, in order for B1 to work, there's another cofactor that you need, and that's magnesium. But I wanted to create this video kind of short and to the point and cover the most common issues uh, relating to nerves and what nutrients you should focus on to hopefully reduce those problems. 
hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.